welcome, 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 welcome once again to Let's Talk Matters. I am Pastor Larry and welcome again. I hope everyone is doing well. If you woke up this morning, you are doing well. All right, all right, we're going to get right on into today's. First of all, we want to give our condolences out to the Loggins family, minor family, for the loss of our, our matriarch, our grandmother. I call her my grandmother, too. So we the Loggins want to give her a shout out to the family and our condolences to the family and our support to the family. All right, we're going to get right on into it. Uh, today, our segment is going to be on hanging out. Uh, as couples, we should be spending as much time as possible with each other, especially uh, during the early uh, eight stages of the marriage. Uh, that way you really get to know each other and know how the other one feel about certain things and how they go in and out with the with your uh, new spouse or with your spouse if you've been married for a few year, years. Uh, you should be spending time with them as far as uh, with the family and doing family projects. Uh, make sure you have some kind of some sort of family projects, uh, especially, again, when you're getting to know the other one. Uh, it's okay to have uh, uh, single friends, but don't expose all of your business to them. Uh, the reason why is I always say it's good to sometimes have single friends because you want them to see <clears throat> excuse me, how it is to be married or be in a marriage, especially if you have a marriage that's working uh, wonderfully, you know, your spouse is getting along well. You want them as a single uh, a marriage perspectives uh, to see how a marriage really should work, especially if you have a good marriage. So it's always good to have them. Uh, there, but again, you don't tell them your personal business or anything like that. Uh, if you're a saved couple, it's okay to go out sometimes with unsaved couples because, especially if you're trying to uh, have them see what it is to be saved and see that you don't, it's not boring, it's not a boring life. Uh, you want them to see how you and your spouse get along, especially if you're a uh, uh, safe couple that gets along very well with each other. You want the uh, people that don't go to church or are considering going to church but not sure, have questions about it. You want them to see how well your marriage works. So you would go out with them. Uh, if they drink, don't get all holy. So, oh, you ain't got no in drinking. <laughs> no, you don't do that. If they order drinks, let them see that you don't order and you still have a good time. And because uh, we, we can't judge people, our job is save married people is not to uh, judge each other. So we can't judge people. So uh, they do that. That's you know that's on them. Uh, but let them see how it is to be a married, saved couple, and how well you get along, how you treat each other, and you know you you, you be on your best behavior when you when you do something like this. Uh, for instance, the, you would make sure you open the door for your spouse so they'll notice that and they might pick it up, you know. And uh, you also make sure you have your uh, date nights with the, the saved couples as well. And, you know, like if sometimes if the ladies want to get together and do something uh, for each other, go shopping or something like that, or even just to have lunch together, there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, as saved couples, a lot of people make it seem very hard to be. Uh, Christian in this day and age, and it's not really. It, it's it's very simple. If you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and uh, God raised His Son from the dead, you, you know that's the basis for it, for the uh, Christian foundation. So if you believe that, you, there is a chance that you you can be saved. Uh, as a saved couple, you also want to make sure that we are including our children in our outings. Yeah, don't always leave your just because your children are small. Don't always leave them with somebody. Have a you know, there's a time when you leave them when you want to have a the one on one with your spouse. But make sure that you take them out places uh, so they'll get used to going places. Uh, one thing I can't stand <laughs> see a kid at a place that you can tell they've never been in a setting like that before. They just get all <laughs> have a meltdown. <laughs> 
and you know, and then you disturb and everybody else. But if you let your kids, like when we were, when our children were little, we made sure that we took them out to dinner on many occasions. So when they went to restaurants other than McDonald's or Burger King, you know, they they knew how to conduct themselves. They you know they didn't have the meltdowns. They would order their little food and they used the little crayon things, whatever that they give you in a family restaurant. So they were used to it. So make sure that you are taking your children to things like that and and, and getting them involved in your in your marriage and have a family night. You know, sometimes you might want to go bowling or something like that. Make it because you're a, a Christian that everything is boring. The only thing you're going to do is read your Bible. There's nothing wrong with that now. I'm not coming against that. But some church folks think the only thing you're supposed to do is just stay at home and pray and read your Bible. Yeah, but if you did that, you who go, who you going to win if you do that? <laughs> See, when you go out to different places among other people, they'll get to it. Because some, uh, sometimes the, you're the only Bible people are going to see. So if we are out and about conducting ourselves and people will notice that you're not swearing at each other, or not uh, <laughs> rolling your eyes at your spouse and yelling at the kid, Paul, oh, didn't I tell you to shut up? You're going to get it. <laughs> you know, you're not doing none of that. And people will notice how your family seem to be uh, enjoy each other's company. That That's what people see. And they, and they might come up to you and say, uh, what is your secret? Look at my kids over here. And then you can just simply, and then to open the door. Uh, when you're out, you know, especially when you're out with your spouse, you don't go around trying to witness to everybody. The waiter come to the table, she can't take the order because you talk about you know, Jesus. She trying to do her job. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes we do that. We we get all zealous and stuff, and, and we're out. We're supposed to be enjoying the company of our spouse, and we want to get all religion. But Lord, that, no, that's that's not. There's a time and place for everything, but that that's not the time. That's the time when you focus on him or her, <laughs> and make sure that she's having a good time and uh, enjoying each other's company. Uh, couples, remember you're training. Uh, you're trying to influence uh, another couple. Remember that uh, when you go out, with, especially when you go out with a couples that are not saved. Remember, you're trying to influence them, not them trying to influence you. So make sure that you uh, do what you were trained as a Christian or taught as a Christian. Make sure you stick to that. Don't go, oh yeah, no, I like to try that because that looks good. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just, you know, when you go out, they order their little drinks or whatever. Yeah, you get your coffee or your Pepsi. Uh, you know, if you don't want to only drink, get a strong Coke, you know. Make sure they see the difference in, in in being a Christian and you know and how you want to convince them that the saved life is the best life. That's what I always say. Saved life is the best life. Because it helps you to deal with things that you don't normally uh deal with or wouldn't have the strength to deal with. It you it, it brings out your inner strength uh, as being a Christian couple. We also have to remember that uh, again that uh, you're the only Bible that people may see. So we have to make sure that we conduct ourselves accordingly as couples. Uh, you know, like, for instance, you're living in the neighborhood, you know, on your way out the door, go to yelling at your husband or something because he forgot something and, you know, uh, yelling at the kids and, you know, because uh, folks are watching us, you know, you yelling at your husband and looking at him crazy or something. Uh, make sure that... Uh, to them, when they see you, they're going to be like, man, they, they just seem to always be getting along, you know. Make sure you keep it that way. Uh, keep the love and support in our marriage. A lot of times we don't uh, know how to support each other. You have to support your spouse. Sometimes your spouse might come up with a crazy idea. If it's a bad idea, let him figure that out or she figure that out for themselves. Just as long as you support them. And, you know, if you support them when, it, when they realize it's a bad idea, they'll come to you and say, oh, that, that, that's kind of a bad idea. Why'd you go along with it? That's when you tell them, because I wanted to support you. And, and that keeps the, the love and the trust flowing in a marriage. Because a lot of times we, uh, when someone fail or idea fail in the marriage, we want to blame each other, especially when it comes to finances. 
uh, couples fight all the that's usually the main argument is uh, finances and one couple uh, one party might think the other party is overspending the other one might you know uh, but make sure that we are working together as a couple because we are one once you say I do you do become one so make sure that you are supporting each other and make sure that we are uh, working together as a couple because it's a uh, then keep the, we have mentioned it several times before that uh, you have to make sure you keep the communication open uh, the, the walls of this should be no walls in between uh, husband and wife and there shouldn't be any walls between the husband wife or the children make sure that we are talking to our children uh, teaching them on different things and uh, that's why I said make sure that you take them to places other than McDonald's there's nothing wrong with McDonald's and places like that you take them to that but make sure you take them to amusement parks even if you don't get on the rides just take them out there just let them have a have a ball out there let them uh, see things other than just their neighborhood or just things in a house and we wonder why our kids just sit there and play video games if nobody took you know where you sit there and play video games, we did, we would have did it too if we'd had them. <laughs> we just didn't have any video games. But make sure that you are you know taking your children places with you, so they'll get used to being around other people. Used to go and make sure that once in a while you dress your children up. I, I know this society uh, tell you that you dressed up when you got on some Nikes and some some jeans or Adidas. But that's not dressed up. <laughs> dressed up is when you have a suit, tie, or even if you don't have a tie, just as long as you have a suit, an actual suit on. Make sure your children or your family members experience that once. Don't go places all the time looking casual. Sometimes let everybody just dress up. Even if it's just once a month, once a week, on Sundays. Years ago, that's what you did on Sundays. You you would, what they, that's what they used to call Sunday best. You would dress up and put on your Sunday best. You put on your suit. And, uh, the women wear, wear dresses and nice hats back in the day. And the guys wore hats. And the children would be dressed right. And, and you would go out and, you know, go to church. And people always knew that you were going to church because you would come out of the house. And everybody would look so nice. And, uh, and every Sunday was Easter. But at least back in the day, they, they did that on Easter or Mother's Day. They would dress up. But do that at least once. You know, don't always have your kids just looking any kind of way. I can't stand to see the parents all dressed up and the kids just looking like, like what happened? <laughs> if you don't know how to comb hair, find somebody that did it. <laughs> see, my hair looks nice. <laughs> yeah, make sure that we are... Um, supporting each other in these marriages because uh, we want to show that we can get along as couples, especially as uh, black families. It, it, black families are slowly deteriorating. Uh, you, you don't see it much. You don't see it on TV. Uh, uh, the black family is, is slowly deteriorating. And, is, and I'm not coming against, uh, you know, when you say black families. It, I don't care if it's one white, one black. If there's a different nationality that you marry to, and you black, it's a black family. It's just a blended black family. <laughs> so that that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about as a uh, people, we don't come together like we should. And, and we don't uh, support each other like we should. Make sure we, we are supporting each other in whatever endeavors that we uh, embark upon make sure that we are supporting each other and make sure that we are again i always say make sure if you don't go to church find some place that you can go well find a church I'm that you sure can go to make sure you can oh siri uh make sure you uh find a place that you can uh go to uh, that you both agree upon uh, you know a church that you agree upon where you both feel comfortable where you can take your children they can go to Sunday school because uh, when I was going to Sunday school we had a lot of uh, activities that we did as a Sunday school and sometimes they would have picnics after service sometimes the youth would have picnics and they would have family picnics or church picnics and the men would get involved in things and the women would get involved in things 
So make sure that we are uh, supporting each other again uh, in our marriages and make sure that we are hanging out properly. I, I always like to say hanging out properly where you're representing a Christian family. Yeah, this is Pastor Larry. We're going to be signing off and God bless you until we meet again on Let's Talk Marriage.